Well, if you caught the <laughs> Tri-State Field Trip live stream, then you already know where this is going. <laughs> Um, for those of you that didn't, I received this via giveaway from a very talented man by the name of Transparent Knives. This is a reblade for a Benchmade 940, a knife that I did not until just earlier this afternoon. I didn't own it. So I had a beautiful handmade custom blade for a knife that I didn't own. So we got in the car, we took a trip to Vance Outdoors, and lo and behold, they had one left, and I bought it only because I had a gift card. I've already unboxed it. This isn't a traditional, normal unboxing, but there she is. And I gotta tell you, it's a nice-looking knife. I've never had a 940. Um, action was fine out of the box. Of course, we got the little dingleberry tab per use. Nice little cloth in the box. I hate their stock pocket clip, but look at the nice, bright-ass green standoffs. Oh, goodness. Action's really good. Running on uh, phosphor bronze washers. And this is a classic. This is the 940. It's a classic. It's a much beloved knife. And, uh, you know, G10 scales. Uh, S30V on the blade. I think this was $190 before tax. But, uh, yeah, classic. Everybody loves it. And I'm going to take this one apart immediately. I'm not even going to bother re reviewing it as is because I don't care because I want this blade in this knife so bad. Um, so I, I did already check and I can get this apart without heating elements and shit like that. If anyone's taken apart a Benchmade before, you know how that goes. But uh, the pivot's out. Let me get let me get these. I didn't uh, take it all the way apart. I just cracked the screws so that I knew I could at least get it off before I started filming. Um... So T6 everywhere is the usual case. So pop those out and then T8 on the pivot, which is nice, which is nice. I would like to see T8 everywhere, Benchmade. It's 20 freaking 22. The least you could, God dang, that pivot is a struggle. Oh no. Here I thought, oh, I could probably do with taking, come on. Let's move these so I don't blast them across space and time. Oh, I hate, hate taking apart bench maids. Oh, I don't like it. You know what I'm gonna do? Um, what I'm gonna try to do? Oh, get it right there. Okay, so that is all apart, but the blade won't come out. And the blade just just won't come out. Gotta love them. Boy, howdy. You, got, you know, you just gotta love them. How do I... Uh, I'm trying not to injure myself here, so... Forgive me. Um... Do I have pliers somewhere? I was just pumped that the pivot started to come out. Stop. God, it wants to come out. But she ain't coming. Where's the old... Where's the old... Uh, let's get the old bottle opener out. Handy dandy bottle opener. See if we can get up underneath that fucking thing and pry it out of there. Oh, there she comes. Come on, dude. Oh, you dirty, dirty, dirty girl. My cat just purred at me saying dirty girl. Kind of is odd to me. Are we out? Oh, and we're out. Okay. Um... Honestly, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go for gold here. Oh, come on, baby. 
Ooh, dude, is this gonna be the easiest blade swap in friggin' history right now? Oh, come on. In with ya! Oh, she's in! Holy shit! Oh my. Oh my. Okay, this video is gonna be a lot shorter than I thought. And I'm pumped about it. Let's get that in there. Give me put that damn pivot screw in there. Hurry before something goes terribly wrong. Oh boy. Oh, in she goes. Man. They really gunk these things up. Oh, I way over tightened that pivot. Whoops. Okay. Body screws back in. Dude, easiest blade swap in history. Holy shit. I expected this to be an absolute nightmare. Because I've done scale swaps on like the mini grip and shit like that. And it's always a friggin' nightmare. It never fails. Something goes horribly wrong. You need a soldering iron or something. But I just got real freaking lucky on this little beauty right here. Holy cannoli. Centering's a little off because the pivot is not tightened at all. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, excuse me. I just had lunch. It was delightful. Um. That is... An absolutely, it's a, di a totally different knife. Just look at that. I love the green standoffs. All of a sudden, the Benchmade 940. Oh, man. Wow. It's a completely different knife. Transparent Knives on Instagram. He will be linked in the description. He makes these, these incredible reblades for a bunch of knives. Insanely talented dude. Brian, be sure to follow him. The, uh, I was flipping this and fidgeting with it on the way home from the store. And I was like, eh, it's okay. It's nothing special. Um, holy crap. Like, this might be my new, like, favorite knife ever. Let's check. T just a touch of blade play. Good there. Action's still great. Wow. A, a transparent knives rebladed Benchmade 940. I'm going to replace that clip right away as well. It's stunning. It's incredible. I don't know what else to say. Um we should cut something with it. We didn't even bother with the stock blade. I'm so Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. The uh, good old-fashioned uh, phone book paper here. Oh my goodness gracious. Is this now the greatest Benchmade ever made? Yes. Technically, I suppose. But the business end is unbelievable. I am absolutely blown away. I don't know if I said this already. This is a 20 CV blade steel. I don't even know what to call this blade shape. I don't even care. It's stunning. Look at the look at the grind lines on it. Unbelievable. The Benchmade 940 <laughs> with an incredible transparent knives reblade. I, I a classic just became a masterpiece. Stay tuned, this is just kind of the unboxing of the knife and the construction of it all, finally. There will be a full review on both the blade and the knife handle, I guess I can review that. But man, oh man. Stay tuned, plenty of pictures on the Instagram as well, be sure to follow me there. And uh, I don't know what else to say, I'm, I'm kind of mesmerized by this right now. Thank you so much for watching, until next time, bye bye now. You have